Hey everybody, this is Big Wigs, and welcome to Star Ocean Till the End of Time. This is a fantastic JRPG from School Weenix from ever so long ago. Also by Trice. I'm around the 2003-2004 range, I can tell right there from the, from, from the bottom right there. And it's by far probably my favorite game of PlayStation 2 era. It may be just straight up my favorite game ever. Let's begin, shall we? And this is our main character. His name is Fate, currently. Uh, I know, kind of a lame name. But, um, we shall be changing that very soon. In fact, oh. as soon as possible. He's scared by a small guy. Go. So the, the context of this conversation is that, uh, our main character, I won't mention him by name, because he's not going to be his name for much longer, was playing video games for too long instead of going to the beach. With an attitude like that? I'm not sure what this music is, but I do kind of like it for some reason. It's alright. Notice how her jeans are not buttoned up all the way. That means, young protagonist, that your girlfriend here wants the D. I'm not sure if she has freckles or not, or if I have just have this blown up so big on my own screen that I can now see individual pixels that sort of tether her nose to her faith. face. And now we run around. Still got the music in the background. Sort of starting you off on your, your amazing epic journey of adventuringness. But before that, let's get one thing straight here. Your name. You cannot save the world with a name like Fate. It's not even spelled right. Now we'll have to make something, something much better. Hmm. You can't quite fit the word testicles. Uh, it's got to be Wango. Wango Unchained. That'll be you, name character. Enjoy your new awesome name, Wango. Yeah. All right, that took a really long time, actually. Uh, so let's actually continue on with uh, the story, the main bit of the boring part of the story. An empty box of cookies, candy wrappers, a biscuit. Talk about your overeating. You're gonna get pudgy. Oh ho ho! Sick burn, Wango Unchained. Sick burn. Teleporters. Cause this is like super science and shit. I'm a go. And what's the word? I can't think of the word. I need to think of the word. Trespass. Yes, that's the word. Trespass event. He said Wango butt. My darling fate. Ah, uh, to her darling Wango. Wango shall remember this day forever is the first time he ever got a tramp stamp. Ah, oh, sex tie! It says sex tie. That'd have been an awesome name. Shirt? Oh yeah, amazing! An entire planet. I guess I'll have to take good care of it. Wow, Wango's being a bit of a dick there. I think we shall encourage Wango's dickishness. I obtained a ticket! By the way, uh, I suppose I should cover up, like, the plot that's been covered so far. We are Wango Line God! And we're here with our, uh, friend, uh, maybe girlfriend. Depends how nice we are to her. We're not, she's not gonna be my girlfriend. Um, we're on vacation! We're at this beautiful seaside resort, hanging out, having a good time, playing video games. Getting our, uh, getting our shorts wet getting our butt wet and that's basically all the the plot that's been covered so far now we're just running around talking to the people now waiting for the next thing to happen right mom what's happening oh wango you finally decided to get some sun yeah my wango needed some sun and we'll talk to papa wang also known as robert 
There you go, he doesn't give a shit. Papa Wang don't give two fucks about none. Hello, person. Event. Well, hello there. What can I do for you? Wang knows what you can do for me. Where's your brain, Wang Do? Yeah, I wonder where my brain is. It's in Wang Do. Uh, let's let's choose the random button here. Also known as hold down the up button, close your eyes. Huh? Oh, just some little kid. Never seen her. Oh, RNG gods. You never let me down, do you? Who are you calling little? You know, for like a split second, if I press like the walk button while running, I like slow-mo run. It's like Baywatch for half a second. Wait. Baywatch! Bay, bay, no, no, alright, I can't, I can't. You know what, for these very long scenes of just text, there is a very important function I have on this controller. The turbo button. Aw, oh, yeah. Just feel the minute saving wash over you. I swear she has freckles. No, she doesn't. It's just... What happens when we try turbo run walk? Oh my god! We just look really framey. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm using up massive amounts of CPU. But just me! Everyone else is fine. Yes, that's what video games do to you, children. Be them totally beefcake! Sex tie. Sex teo? Socks teo. Alright then, we're about ready. Sock tea. Sax tea? Sax and eo? It's something. I'm just gonna go with sex tie. Okay, so while we're, like, massively just smashing our buttons through these menus and stuff, there is uh, one thing we should uh, talk about. Several things we should talk about. First thing is a quick little PSA announcement. And that's, uh, if you want to play this game, if you're thinking, oh, this game looks kind of fun, and you want to play it, or maybe you're getting all nostalgic for it, which is, like, my whole point of the video. But, um, it does not work on PlayStation 3. Or rather, I should say, it works on PlayStation 3, but then there's an unavoidable glitch about 40 plus hours in, like right before you get into the final dungeon. There's a glitch where you go into a cutscene, and the game just freezes. It's right before you fight the Chimera, if you really must know. Which is why I'm playing this on old-fashioned PlayStation 2. I know, holy shit, right? Um, there's actually an, an avoidable part that does the exact same glitch when you go and try and pick up Roger for the first time in the Douglas Forest way. So that's why I'm playing on old-fashioned PlayStation 2, and that's why you'll need to get an old-fashioned PlayStation 2 if you want to play this game to completion. Which you do, because it's a good game. It's, like, my favorite game. Uh, second thing. Second thing is Battle Trophies. Let's just click on that while we start initialization. Battle Trophies, um... Yeah, we'll override that. Battle Trophies are a, uh, it's a trophy system. I know, on the PlayStation 2, that's crazy, right? This game had trophies. And it's just a uh, random shit that you just sort of do while you're in battle. And they're really fun and amazing. And it's just really ahead of its time. And I just wanted to say that, hey, battle trophies. I like you. I don't like you now. But 2003 to 2004? Pretty damn slick. All right, let's play. Player one. Wango line god. <laughs> Oh, there's one other thing. Um, this game does have private events, also those private actions, and that affects how characters think of you. For instance, this this Sophia person. I don't know who she is because I'm gonna change her name later. But um, okay. Doing certain things will make her like or dislike me. Like for instance, calling her fat doesn't really make her like me too much. Um, but uh, calling her not fat. I don't know. Saying she's my girlfriend or something. Makes her like me a lot more. I already know that. And that affects like minor things that we might talk about later when they come up. But um it also affects uh just really weird things. Like anything can be a private event. Ah oh, shit. So now we're in combat. It combat's pretty simple. 
You have two main attack buttons. You have X, which does your light attack. Light attacks are very fast, don't do much damage. And then you have Circle. Circles do are slower and do more damage. That green bar down there is called your Fury. It lets you know how many times you can attack. Just wait a second and it fills back up. You have your HP and your MP. It's all very nice. And actually, I want to escape this battle. Because of private actions and stuff. But be just being a dick in general to private actions. Guess I'm just a fatty. Damn straight, you're a fat. So combat has a lot of different intricacies that we will probably talk about in later episodes because we won't be doing much combat, or much more combat now. We'll just skip this event. Oh no, the alarm's going off inside of the hollow deck room that's totally dark with just me and one other girl who wants the D. Better get out of here, guys. Let's just we'll take the D. Yeah, so plot now is there's been earthquakes or like attacks. There you go, state of emergency. Piss off, three-eyed lady. Since there's an emergency, we are now being emergency teleported. Way the fuck away to somewhere else. Save point. Oh yeah. We can now change this bitch's name. Sophia, not a proper name at all for a defender of the universe. But what is a proper name for the defender of the universe? Hogana. Hogana Esteed. That is your name. I have christened thee. Hogana. Wango and Hogana. Wango and Chained and Hogana Hogan. Wee. 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 Hope you guys don't find this to sound annoying. Wee. Wee. Because that's what I'm hearing this whole goddamn scene. And her jeans are really not buttoned up. That's like. No one else is looking at it. Whoa, there's a controller. Let's get out of here. You're right, Hogana. We should get out of here. Yeah. Here they are. I would like to point out real quickly, as we're now zoomed in on their faces, these guys are. Those aren't masks or anything, that's like their actual faces. Because for the longest time I thought they were just masks. They are part shark, I think is what like a dictionary entry said at one point. You, there's like lore entries. But they were, so uh, whenever I see one, it reminds me of Moby Dick. There's a race of people who are, who are part dick. Dad! Run you two! Robert? Just get out of here. But Let's go, Hogan. Okay. This might be the last time I ever see the mother character ever again. I can't quite remember if she shows up in the game ever. Yeah. A little depressing. Combat spiders, go! Hey, we now cover the combat a little bit more. So another thing about combat is that the range of which you're standing. Uh, affects what attack you're gonna do. So every attack you do, um, well, basically auto home in on the enemy. So if I stay over here and just press circle, it'll do that. Basically run towards the enemy, and I can juggle them depending on what height they're on. So it's very a little bit automatic. But um, like I said, range just affects what attacks you're gonna do. So I guess that's what I'm gonna mention with that thing. Also, battle trophies. I just got like a shit ton of them. So, they're really simple ones. One with no damage. Finish battle under 20 seconds. Finish battle under 30 seconds. So, yeah, we'll save that. And, like I said, the battle trophies range from a whole bunch of really difficult, insane, impossible shit to stuff we'll just get fast and furious right at the beginning. And just... Wait, just... Right here? Slowly foot stomps. <laughs> what the heck is that? Much power. Very strength. Wango, Hogana, you okay? I don't think there's anything else we can really learn about combat just yet. Except, you know, don't get hit. And I'm mad because I'm bad. Clearly you don't know. I have the very epitome of destruction soldered into my genetic pool. That's why my hair is blue. I'll kill you all! You all burn by my holy fire! Wango cannot be chained! 
I guess between now and then, Wango calm down. I suppose. Man, that big guy. He's a really be breathing down Wango's neck. You were soft when I picked you up there. And we are now on a transporter ship. Let's recap the plot of what happened. So we were on a nice, big, fancy resort, hotel, planet, and space and stuff. Then, uh, aliens that were part dick came out and attacked us. Part Moby Dick came and attacked us. Blew everything up, killed everyone, and now we are on an evacuation facility trying to get away from them. Alright, that, uh, that, that about covers it. We're good. Oh, Wango. He's feeling really flaccid and tired today. As is Hogna. Sophia, you okay? Yeah. Hogna, do you need to button your pants? Um, Faith? What is it, Hogna? What is it? Yeah, what is it, Hogna? Say something! Will you stay here until I fall asleep? I don't want to be alone. It's my room too. Why would I leave? Sure, I'll stay. Just relax and go to sleep. The the okay. bed I am sitting on is literally my bed. I am I'm gonna stay here till I go to sleep. And then I'll be here when I wake up. And now, it should be all good to continue. Yep. Ooh. This is pretty. So, what's just occurred, since I kind of skipped a whole bunch of scenes, is that, um, the evacuation facility was a complete success. We've evacuated onto the transport ship Hellora. We're now in, like, warp drive something or other. You get the idea. What we get to do now is we get to turn on the... Now we're gonna turn on the turbo button. We'll just mash the X button. We have to talk to everybody in this room, I think, and then leave, talk to everyone outside this room, and then we can re-enter, and we'll get a new scene. Wow. This man's a dolphin. There we go. New event. Skip the event. Battle music! That's what I'm talking about. We're not going to save. We'll just continue onwards. So, what that event showed us that I skipped is that we're all in deep shit. Uh, the crazy Moby Dick aliens have found the transfer ship Hellera, and they are now attacking the transport ship Hellera. <gasps> Gasp. What do we do? What we do is actually quite simple. We go kind of like annoy the, the ship captain. Ship captain! We'll just turn on turbo mode for this. There we go. There we go. We'll hit the clear button as well. You do that, and then you can waltz back downwards, and then you can leave. Because there's actually like a big crowd of people trying to escape the fiery death hole that has become Transport Ship Hellera. And actually, I lied. You go down here and you talk to your other friends. I'm sorry. Now there's nobody. Whatever, game. You do what you want. I'm gonna go into the escape pods. Ooh, escape pod. Distress signal operational. So the ship exploded behind us. That's that's the scene. Okay. That just happened. Everyone escaped, I think, Searching maybe. For light review the under so before I was talking about uh, private actions. Another cool Slash annoying really tiny event of private actions that private actions can essentially be anything where you have like a choice like this for instance uh, I had the choice of looking at an instruction manual. I've played this game like seven times to completion before I Don't want to do that But if I say uh, no People somewhere somehow You know hundreds of light years away well, I've never met. Feel a really small 
drop an opinion about me. They're thinking, oh, some jackass with blue hair somewhere inside a skate pod. It's kind of a dick. Wango Unchained. Kind of a dick. Six. Arrival is estimated in 144 hours. Fuck, oh, that's a long time. Are there any foreseeable problems in getting to Vanguard 3? How's our energy reserves? No the only problem we got is going to take 144 hours and I have to pee okay. already. Sleep. Notify me if anything happens. You know, I think I uh, actually might know a way to uh, help pass the time. Affirmative. Oh, wow. Time flew by once I started doing that. Incredible. Ooh, fancy graphics. Fun fact, these are called HP graphics, short for high pixel, high pixelated graphics. But cool kids call them Harry Potter graphics. You guys are all cool kids, right? So, because there might be horrible dangerous things inside the forest, Let's just magic a weapon out of nowhere. Magic. Ching. Luckily, I've gotten used to this kind of weapon in the battle simulators. I like how they went through the effort of making his voice ever so slightly echoey and adding the little uh, and the little brackets there. That way, we know he's not crazy and talking to himself out loud. I know it's a UP3 infringement, but this is. You know what I just said? They'll probably cut me some slack. You know, points for trying, game. Points for trying. So, everybody, let's do a quick little plot recap, shall we? We were on a nice, amazing, beautiful resort planet until we were attacked by the Vendini, the Moby Dick aliens with the white faces and the not masks and the mouths that don't move when they talk. So they attacked us. We then got put on a transport ship called the Hellera because we evacuated, obviously. Our parents got left behind because, I don't know, they, they wanted to, they asked to for some reason. Or they just fell behind. And, um, we then got onto the transport ship, however, which was then attacked by the same people who attacked the Hydra place. The Vendini also attacked the transport ship. This is our escape pod. We barely managed to escape with our lives. And now we are on a, what is called an underdeveloped planet, aka a planet who is basically like in the 16th century Earth. So we are an amazing science wizard of magic and science who can make swords out of nothing. And we are now stranded on a planet stuck in the 16th century. That's the plot so far. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this. It's the first video, hopefully, of many. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and goodbye.